Now, if we talk about the post interns without a job, say you are done with your internship and say you are done with your uh, bond posting, whatever it is, and today you are saying that today I will start studying, but I will appear for 2026 exam. There are again many challenges. Again, the big challenge of regularity. There, the time was less. Here, you have got say one year. How to use this one year properly? What Google Sir was saying for interns is true for you also. For a few days, you would study a lot and then a long lean period. Regularity is going to be a big challenge. Again, you need to have a cohort. You need to have a group with which you are studying and a structure. FOMO, Goga sir. So this is the time you think that you have one year, one and a half year. So I can do almost everything. Why to miss anything? Mm. Why this FOMO comes in your mind that uh, I have so much time. Why to miss anything? So when you come to why to miss anything, the problem is you will start going into one subject in too much depth and you in the end you will find that either you have covered so much that that is not revisable or you have very less time left for the other important subjects. There are many students sir, they will start with the main videos, they will add something from quick revision, from this source, that source. Finally, as you said, no time for either revision or other subjects get missed. This is what we mean by lopsided preparation. For three subjects, you have covered five resources. And for 10 subjects, you have not done even one. And then you are looking for some short note uh, to, to cover that subject. No, don't do that. These things can be avoided only and only with the structure. From day one, you should be clear what exactly are you going to cover? When are you going to cover? When will you revise? When will you revise the second time? Goga sir, this is a big problem. Yes, because you have one year, you started studying a subject, so you do suppose five, six subjects in four months. And after four months, you will see that you have forgotten the first month subjects. So this commonly happens with everyone. So that is a big problem because the time is more. The longer is the time, the initial work you will try, tend to forget. So you need a proper structure, how to repetitively revise the thing so that you do not forget. 100% sir. Of course, there are advantages. You have got more time at your disposal. And if you structure it properly, of course, the chances that you would crack the exam are better. All right. Now let's talk about the post interns without a job. This is the big difference. For the interns and with the job, we were saying that quick revision videos would be a good main source. For you, that is not true. You have to do mission videos. They are bigger. They are more comprehensive. And, and I, I would like to add here, uh, try to do, obviously, you have to do mission videos of all the subjects. Plus, in the mission video also, whichever topic you feel that uh, you have not grasped properly, try to see that from the main videos also. 100%, sir. 100%. So there are multiple types of mission videos because we do a lot of live classes. If you go into the app, you'll find mission 2.0 batch 3, third batch or batch 3. This is the most recent batch. It's the most updated. See, the good thing about Cerebellum is our content gets updated every six months because we have new batches. So that's a great thing. So you can use these videos. They would be in the app. Along with that, of course, you also have to do the same ENDs. Definitely, you have to do custom modules live ENDs and GTs and for you because you have more time I have added late night PYQ marathon now here I want to make one thing clear late night PYQ marathons are given in cerebral I app in two form as we move closer to the exam they are mixed back all subjects put together when we are farther from the exam we have late night PYQ marathons subject wise so you can just go in the app in the test section click on the late night PYQs scroll down and you would find the late night PYQs for all the subjects divided into different chunks, day one, day two, day three. So you have to do it accordingly. GTs we have discussed, July 15th, we will complete the course. All right. So 15th July, we complete the lab 1A, where you are using quick revision videos or mission videos, plus of course question. After 15th July, we will start with lab 1B. Now what will happen by this time? 15 June, we have our neat PG exam. If the government does not postpone it, hopefully they do not. <laughs> and this time it's unlikely they would do that. So we would have result by say end of June and by 15 July, we would start with a new batch, right? So that would be a comprehensive live batch where all the classes would be done live. Again, all the ENDs would be done. All those things, late night PYQ, midday module, everything will start. For you guys who already have completed one reading, you have this advantage. If you have not done so well in one of the subjects, you can attend it live. If you are already confident in it, just revise, but appear for the ENDs and the GTs. So this is like the first revision for you. For many of our students, especially post interns, what they did during this phase, they did two revisions. Yes. Yes, sir. They did two revisions. 
and in the morning they would revise themselves in the evening they would revise with a live lecture so and they got great results so you can do that also this would continue again for around 90 to 100 days and somewhere near the last week of october we would start the marathon in ict what is marathon goga sir so basically as the name suggests in the seven days we will complete all the subjects uh, all the important points so like in pharmacology in four hours i will try to summarize everything which is likely to be asked in the exam so all these subjects will be dealt with like this so there will be live coverage of all 19 subjects in last seven days it's a usually an 80 hour seven days program and you know the the biggest problem of students how to revise everything in the end that gets solved with marathon we hope that you do get selected in nic exam but those of you who do not then we start with the lab 2 between INICT and NEET PG. Depending upon how much time do we have, this could be again live classes plus ENDs. If we have lesser time, only ENDs. This we would be able to tell you only when we get to know about the dates. And then again, we will have marathon NEET PG. Again, 7 days ATR program, this time focusing on NEET PG. So, if you are a student who is starting today, imagine the number of revisions that you would have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and this schedule is not that difficult. The only th thing that we are talking about is maintaining the regularity and the big word, the structure. Follow the structure. This, this schedule has been structured so beautifully and now that this, this has, we are doing this for a couple of years, we know that the students who follow it, they get great ranks. So this is the rough schedule. So we are starting from 15th of April. I will be starting the batch. So I would expect that on 10th, 11th, 12th, whenever you start studying, you complete the psychiatry from quick revision videos or mission videos. On 15th, we will have, we'll have a test in the morning hours and this is the timing of discussion. And then we'll go to the other subjects. As you can see, Physio 1, Physio 2, Patho 1, Patho 2. For bigger subjects, we have three days like surgery, medicine. Uh, the only one thing that I want to tell you is psychiatry we are having on 15th. There might be a slight modification in the schedule because we are still getting the days of the teachers. So there might be some changes, little bit changes. We will try to give more days to bigger subjects, slightly lesser days to shorter subjects, but this is going to be like uh, I can say that on 3rd May, your biochemistry test. Up from 3rd to 6th May, you will study pharmacology 1. We will give you the topics, uh, which one topics will be covered in pharmacology 1. So, for 3 days, you will have to cover half of pharmacology. Then I will have test. Yeah. After that, you will another have 2 days for rest of the uh, pharmacology and again study and appear for the test. So, this should you should do for all the subjects. Right. So, this we have discussed already, how to use Mission 3.0, watch video, do custom order in the morning, whatever new information you find, add it to your notes. Revise before the END, take END, whatever extra information that you get, again add to your note. Finally, try to, you know, make concise note, put everything together so that you can revise it in the end. Take GTs regularly and ensure that you are completing side by side. So one thing I would like to add that whenever you are giving GTs, make a separate notebook for GTs. That you should be your separate notebook. Whatever questions you are making wrong in those GTs, in very brief, maybe two or three pages, write that what mistakes you are doing and keep on revising that. GT questions are very important because you know all of us make those questions and all of us try to give the best question in GT. The idea is this question might come in the exam or this question will cover two or three concepts. So GT questions are always very high yield and in Cerebellum they are made by faculties, approved by faculties. And so when you take mission 3.0, along with all these things, of course, you get complete access to main videos also, quick revision videos also. In Cerebellum, both these videos are in English as well as English. You get complete access to QBank, GTs, late night PYK marathons, BTR, everything is a part of it. Notes. So we suggest that you go with quick revision notes. They have been improved, they have been revised, they are pretty good. Some students, want to write their own notes, that is okay if you want to do so. Ensure that you are able to complete classes in time. Because usually what happens, say you are watching a video, you are trying to make your own notes, it takes double the time. If the note is written there, uh, if you already have a printed note, you can just you know, underline it. Also students, I would say one thing more, watch videos in 1x or 1.25x. Watching videos in 2x, completing the video without anything going in your head does not really help you. I, I don't think Oga sir, yeah, beyond 1.5 it makes sense. Doesn't make sense. So, uh, watching videos even at 1.5x is not recommended. Yeah. Watch the videos at 1x, that will be the best thing. And if you are thinking that teacher is little slow, mm. then you can make it 1.25. Please don't go beyond that. Otherwise, you think that you have completed the video, you get happy, but nothing has yeah. gone in your head. Sir, man ki ji aana bhi to chahiye. Right. So, that is what I'm
so timing of the classes the end discussion would happen at 5:30 pm and later on when the lectures start they would also happen at 5:30 pm sir if somebody misses a class what happens so we will uh, recommend that you try not to miss any class but if you miss a class you will get the recorded video of that class you can access any time but don't miss it you know the beauty of live sessions is that you follow the structure don't miss it Goga sir, what if somebody has used another resource during prof, final prof or something? So, if you have used any another resource and you are very confident that you can complete that within that stipulated time and you have a good hold on that source, then use the same source. But if you are not confident that you will be able to complete that within the stipulated time, whichever is being provided to you, or you are thinking that that is too much uh, or uh, too away from the normal study which you want to do, or you are not confident about that subject, then we will advise that you use cerebellum resource only. But whatever resource you use, but important thing is do not miss any END. END you have to appear. END you have to appear and your, our experiences because all these sessions are interlinked. So certain students in the end say that I wish I had read from the cerebellum only because lap 1, 1A, 1B, 2, 3, everything is interlinked. So until unless you are very sure about your resource and you remember it thoroughly, of course, in that case, we would suggest stick to it. Now, if not, please read from whatever we are teaching because it will help you make a continuity. If you are not a student of cerebellum as of today, you should be a student of cerebellum. <laughs> and for that, go to the website. And you'll find Mission 8 PG INA City 3.0. We have different plans, 6 months, 1 year, 18 month. Uh, I don't think we remember the price, but it is something around 25k, sir, if I'm not wrong. No, I have no idea. Right, something like that only. Please, uh, you, can, you can look at the prices. And there's a coupon code called as Cerebellum, which uh, gives you 1000 discount. And I think as of now, some discount is going on because we had 2 years uh, anniversary for Cerebellum. So you can use that also. You can, you can find all these things on our social media. So students, in the end, we just want to summarize everything. Internship is a period where a lot of us get distracted. But if we use the time properly, we can crack the exam. In fact, we have seen most of the toppers are interns only. Time is a problem, but then there are advantages. Structure used to be a bigger, big, big problem that we have solved with our mission plans. Follow it. You can do it. And if you are a post intern without a job, you have more time. But again, you should not fall for FOMO. You should not fall for resources that you cannot complete. There's enough time, but the intent has to be there. Hard work has to be there. And if you follow all these things, you would definitely get the exam. I'll let Goga sir conclude the so video. Basically, we want to say that, uh, so we have tailor made the program for you. And it is important that you just need to believe yourself and get a discipline in your life. So we have provided what you need to do. You don't need to think. Just follow it and definitely a great result will come. Thank you and best of luck. Thank you very much. Best of luck.